The guest is Mayor Carl Dean, and the uh, issue is Nashville at the 21st century. And of course, uh, we're going to give Mayor Dean an opportunity during this last segment simply to talk about some of the issues that he believed to be important and, of course, Mayor, about some of the things that you've probably made up your mind that you'd like to talk about today, and this will be an opportunity to give you an opportunity to do so. Well, I think, as I've mentioned, I think for me, what I'm going to try to remain focused on as during my time as mayor is the, the, the three pitches I think a mayor has to hit, which are public education, public safety, and economic development. Mm -hmm. I think if you keep your eye on the ball for those, those fundamentals, mm -hmm. the city will, will, will be in good shape. And Nashville is just inherently a strong city. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have um, a lot of things going for us. Mm -hmm. And if we, we, we stay focused on, the, on those three, I think we're, we're going to be fine. Now, of course, as mayor, you know, you, you do have, um, you don't always get to follow the agenda you mm -hmm. want. I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. when I first came into office, I spent a lot of time working on issues related to hockey. Mm -hmm. um, I spent some time working on the issues related to the laptop computers mm -hmm. at the Election mm -hmm. Commission. Mm -hmm. I mean, those type of things do come up, mm -hmm. and you just have to be in a position to respond. Mm -hmm. But I have a innate and fundamental confidence in the future of the city. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a, they had a, a school for new mayors, mm -hmm. for national school, for right. like three mm -hmm. or four days. And um, it was all the mayors from cities, um, over 70,000 who were elected in the past yeah. year. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the things I came out of that with is just a, a real pride in Nashville because mm -hmm. the other mayors said, you know, they've heard a lot of good things about Nashville mm -hmm. and they felt I was lucky to be mayor of a city that is that this mm -hmm. vibrant. Mm -hmm. and, and I really am because mm -hmm. we, I think there is so much going on in our city and mm -hmm. you know, that we might be in a tight budget year yeah, this year right. and the economy mm -hmm. may mm -hmm. be a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. But I think fundamentally this is just going to be a real exciting place to mm -hmm. be for the mm -hmm. next few years. And compared to some of the other uh, major urban areas in this country, they are really in, in, in a real problem because we've had uh, one professor to come in uh, from Tennessee State University to talk about what he called uh, chocolate cities, where he listed uh, six or eight urban uh, areas, including uh, one, the only one in the city of uh, Tennessee, and that was Memphis, as being predominantly uh, chocolate cities, uh, uh, black, uh, brown, and, and, uh -huh. and, and these cities are really having some major problems. Uh. Well, I think, you know, we, you know, like I said, we have certainly problems with dropout rates, and we mm -hmm. have problems with education, as a lot of urban areas do, mm -hmm. but we have also a lot of good things going on, which, mm -hmm. I, which I've talked about, you know, the improvements in K through 4 mm -hmm. and, the, and, and really good high schools and all that, mm -hmm. but we need the thing about Nashville is our problems are not so large mm -hmm. that if we get together as a community and focus on addressing those problems, mm -hmm. we can solve them. Mm -hmm. And there's enough, um, there's enough wealth in Nashville, there's enough jobs, there's enough educated, mm -hmm. committed folks who want to volunteer mm -hmm. and help the city that we can, we can really make some progress here. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so, Mayor, as far as you're concerned, it's a good thing to be the uh, mayor of Nashville. It's a great, you, it's you, a great thing to be mayor of Nashville. I uh -huh. get up, you know, I, I, uh -huh. said, I get up every day, still after five months, and go to work, and I am happy. I look forward to mm -hmm. it, and I come home, and 95% of the mm -hmm. time, I'm still happy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we have good, good people working mm -hmm. for the city, and like I say, there's just uh, lots of opportunities here. Lots You've of really had uh, what I consider to be, uh, you know, watching uh, the developments over the last several months, a real open administration, which is to say you, that you travel around, especially dealing with these schools. You've traveled from school to school, uh, eliciting the uh, support and the opinions of some of the people there. Yeah. Now, what, what, what's the result of all of that? Uh, well, I mean, I think one of the things I thought I needed to do, particularly on the issue of education, is yeah. just take some time to listen to people mm -hmm. and to hear what their thoughts were. And so these town hall meetings, which I did, uh, the first, my first full day in office, mm -hmm. I did a town hall meeting mm -hmm. at Pearl mm -hmm. Cone. Mm -hmm. Did one this week at Maplewood. Um, is you get to hear what students and what mm -hmm. faculty members um, and parents are thinking, which mm -hmm. is good. And mm -hmm. you gotta mm -hmm. move ahead and continue to work on issues, but you wanna hear what other people are thinking. Mm -hmm. And I think this issue about it being accessible is important. Yeah. I, as mm -hmm. mayor, you need to be able to to meet with folks and you need to be able to listen to people. And I've made an effort um, to have a good relationship with the Board of Education, mm -hmm. to have a good relationship with the Metro Council, to meet individually with the members and, and hear what they're thinking, mm -hmm. to get their mm -hmm. ideas. Because they certainly have an expertise and a knowledge about mm -hmm. areas of the city that I don't have. Mm -hmm. And I really rely on them to tell me mm -hmm. um, what the issues are in their mm -hmm. particular area of the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and of course, uh, in terms of uh, uh, Nashville, I think you've already indicated that uh, in a real sense, Nashville is on a fairly uh, solid economic basis. And, uh, but in terms of uh, 
Nashville uh, reaching out uh, to other cities uh, in terms of your relationship with other cities? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, but, I think that's a big, a big, a big thing that, that's confronting that we need to address mm -hmm. and be, not be afraid of and be involved in this discussion mm -hmm. in the next few years, and I'm currently doing this, is, this, is the issue of, of regionalism. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. when Nashville, when Davidson County was created as a metropolitan government in mm -hmm. the early 60s, the 503 or 30 miles, whatever you figure we agree on, that makes up Davidson County was enormous. Mm -hmm. But now it's not quite so big. Mm -hmm. And a lot of issues such as the environment, mm -hmm. air quality, need to be addressed mm -hmm. on a regional basis. Yeah. Transportation mm -hmm. is an issue mm -hmm. that needs to be approached mm -hmm. on a regional basis. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to have a cooperative, positive relationship with the surrounding counties. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. I'm willing to meet and talk mm -hmm. with them at any time. Um, and I think that's going to be one of the, the, the mm -hmm. things that we'll be doing more of in the years mm -hmm. ahead. Say something, uh, Mayor, in reference to uh, what the uh, governor's trying to do in terms of uh, uh, the uh, preschool education. I mean, the uh, need for that, and especially having been involved in uh, law enforcement, et cetera, as you've already indicated. Say something that uh, might uh, perhaps uh, convince somebody that we ought to uh, do this, yeah. because I, I, I've seen uh, tremendous advantages, young children, who are making tremendous advances right. simply because of this pre-K and et cetera. And so, I, you know, let's support that. Uh, well, I totally support it. And mm -hmm. I think, as I said, I think Governor Bredesen, there's nobody who's more committed to the welfare of the kids of the mm -hmm. state than mm -hmm. him. And I agree that the, the more that we can do to, to make sure that our youngest kids start mm -hmm. out on the right foot, mm -hmm. they get that opportunity to go to school mm -hmm. with, a, with, with a, a step ahead mm -hmm. is something we, we ought to be providing. Mm -hmm. And so I think the governor's on the right track. Mm -hmm. um, and I think studies have shown that a pre-K program does mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. ensure success in school, does help kids graduate, mm -hmm. and does help our society mm -hmm. ultimately. So I totally support the governor mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. So you've got, you've got about three minutes before we end it. Uh, today, uh, Mayor. Well, I, mean, I guess what I'd just like to, to say to the, to the people in Nashville, and mm -hmm. thank you for giving me this opportunity to, to talk to them, mm -hmm. is to say thank you for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is a, a humbling experience, mm -hmm. but um, I also feel lucky and blessed that, that I have the opportunity to be mayor of a city that mm -hmm. is so dynamic, that is so, uh, mm -hmm. has such a great present, but also a great future. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just a lucky guy to be in this mm -hmm. situation, so and, I say and, thank and, you to them. And so you you started uh, started in law in, in law enforcement in a real well, sense. Well, I started in the public defender, public as a, defender. As uh -huh. in in the yeah. early '80s. I mm -hmm. did that, and I worked as an assistant for uh, several years, and then I was elected public defender in the '90s. Mm -hmm. Then my experience also as a lawyer was as the city's lawyer, the law director for the mm -hmm. city during mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Purcell's administration. Mm -hmm. And I had a good opportunity to, to watch how he did things mm -hmm. and to, uh, you know, really get dig deep into some of the issues the mm -hmm. city was, was facing. As a matter of fact, I think you might have used some of that uh, experience in terms of uh, some of those early experiences you talked about with the hockey team and uh, right. negotiating. And ex do you think, that you, do you find that that has been a very positive thing in terms of allowing you well, to... Well, I think the experience has, been, has helped me because I, you know, for instance, I knew where to park on the first day and uh, uh, and all that but it's mm -hmm. but it's helped me I was not unfamiliar with any with, mm -hmm. with those issues I mean obviously there were still things I needed to learn mm -hmm. still things I, I needed to study mm -hmm. but you know basically I had worked on issues related to the arena mm -hmm. issues related to other mm -hmm. uh, things when I was law director mm -hmm. and certainly I knew most of the yeah. the, mm -hmm. the, the, the principal people in the metropolitan government mm -hmm. before I got there so it was, I had good relationships already mm -hmm. very good and of course I mean let me uh, thank you uh, during this last uh, minute or so for coming by and giving us that information today. As we said earlier, what we've tried to do and uh, what our audience, I, I think in a real sense, has insisted upon because they've asked uh, so many times when we're going to have uh, our Mayor Dean uh, on the show. And, and so we want to uh, simply thank you for coming by in terms of pleasing them, but at the same time to uh, recognize that we really We've been blessed. Uh, you talk about getting up every uh, morning and wanting to go to work and et cetera. I think th we can say the same thing in terms of what we've been able to uh, accomplish here in terms of having individuals like yourself to come by and to encourage our, uh, you know, encourage the city of Nashville and uh, to uh, sort of explain some of the things that uh, many of us might not uh, have an opportunity to be aware of. And we certainly want to thank you and uh, the people that were uh, responsible for uh, delivering you to us today. Uh, well, thank you. It was a, it's a, a privilege to be here, and I hope I can come back. And 
and I think you do a real public service, and I really have enjoyed our time together. Very good. I, I appreciate that. And, of course, let me uh, thank you, uh, uh, and let me encourage you to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you, and good morning.